Hi, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. Glad to be back with you. Took yesterday off. Uh, I was busy doing paperwork that I don't really like to do and it took me hours. But I'm back today. So I'm going to begin this book today for the Bible thing. It's Beginner Bible Study Guide. So this one, this particular story, is going to be about God made my world. And here's the memory verse that we're going to be working on. It's Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. God looked at everything he had made, and it was very good. Okay, try to say that with me. God looked at everything he had made and it was very good genesis 1 31 let's try one more time god looked at everything he had made and it was very good genesis 1 31 all right, can you make a picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet you can. After you make your picture, can you show it to someone, please? Long ago, God made something very special, and that's what we're going to talk about today. God made our wonderful world. First, God made light. God called the light day. He made the day and the night. The next day, God made the beautiful blue sky with clouds and winds. Can you blow like the wind? The third day, God made the dirt. God made soft green grass and he made pretty flowers. God made tall trees. Can you reach up really tall like a tree? Taller, taller. Good, good. This earth is very nice, God said. He was happy. Maybe tomorrow or later today, if you listen to it in the morning, you can go outside and name some of the plants and flowers and trees that you see. On the fourth day, God made the bright sun. We see the sun in the daytime. God made the round of moon. Round. We see the sun at night and also the twinkling stars. Twinkle, twinkle. God put stars in the sky. Here we go. That's right. The next day, day five, God filled the waters with fish. And so you can kind of do this. Can you do this like a fish, swimming like a fish? Then God filled the air with flying birds of all colors. Can you fly like a bird? Flop your wings. He gave the book. Birds, pretty voices to sing happy songs. God saw everything he made. God said, this is good. On the 
on the sixth day, God made all the rest of the animals. He made tall giraffes and furry caterpillars. Can you be like a little caterpillar? Doop, 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 doop. God made horses. Clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop, clip, clop. And barking puppies. And cute little kittens. God saw the animals he made, and God said, this is good. He was right, it was good. And then God made the most special creation. This is still on day six. He made people. God took some mud, and he made a man. The man had strong legs and smiling lips. God blew into the mouth's nose. He opened his eyes. He was alive. God called the man Adam. Then God made a woman. He made Eve to be Adam's wife and friend. On the seventh day, God looked at everything he had made. It was very good. So God rested from his work. This is a special day, he said. This is a day of rest. And so God made the Sabbath, a special day to spend with us. God made our world because he loves us. That was... That was a beautiful story. So, I'm going to stop for now. I think that was a beautiful, beautiful story. Um, and we'll read another story in this book soon. So it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I want to say I love you. I really do. But more importantly, God loves you, and he always will. So, have a good night, and have a happy Sabbath. Today is Friday night, and it's past sunset, so it's Sabbath. All right, God bless you. I'll be back. Bye-bye.